हेलो हिस्ट्री ऑप्शनल स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो मैथ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन पेपर वन वी एट डायडमी ब्रिंगिंग यू ए सोल्यूशन विथ टेक्नोलॉजी टूल विच विल हेल्प यू टू पिन पॉइंट एक्यूरेटली एंड ऑल्सो विथ ईजी मैनर सो यू कैन सी हियर द मैप लोकेशन हियर एंड दीज आर ओनली फ्यू मैप साइट अराउंड हाउ मेनी वी कैन सी around 40 or 50 locations only you are going to see here but in our preparation we are going to deal at least around 400 500 400 sites and out of that at least 200 sites we have to know very well and this one preparing map has become very difficult for history optional students even though they are very good in theory part when it comes to map pointing it has to become an achilles heel for the history optional students so today let us see how to utilize this technological tool to simplify this problem and here i have given different sites and also i am going to give you description in this manner for example if you take broch broch is an example fourth site in our ancient times it is very important site in gujarat region now i am going to give you when you join the class here i am going to give you the mind map and this mind map will give different sub points for every site for example the first important aspect about any map location is we have to identify exactly in which location this map site is identified so broch if you take now you can see this is the one it is located in gujarat and in the baroch district and also the location with respect to river on the mouth of narmada river so this becomes a location related point and when it comes to ancient times how important it is here you can see it is an important ship building center international port terminal for land and sea trade routes and arab traders reached gujarat via broch so this kind of important points we can group under this category and even during modern times and medieval times also british and dutch people established their centers in this location so with this visualization you will be able to remember the important points hardly we need 30 words because upsc has clearly mentioned for each map site we need 30 words so we will give you around 100 to 150 words exclusively which are exclusively important for examination that you can reproduce in the examination in this manner we will give you the material and this will help you for your retention this is when it comes to the content part when it comes to the map marking now this technology or this tool will help you a lot now you can see here here those who ever join the map classes i will provide you the tool how to use this tool for example here you can see here there are some capital sites also here there are some port sites also and i have given example for late harappan early harappan and mature harappan now you will see here let me go here i want to see only the port sites now i will go here i will take the filters now once i go here add filter now i will add the category now once i add the category here i have different sites chalcolithic early harappan late mature neo port so i have selected only port sites now you can see here these are the all important port sites now for students it becomes very easy to understand with exact location the purpose of this tool is to pinpoint the map very accurately so accuracy has become very problematic in our ancient sites so that's why with the help of this tool we are able to identify with accuracy now you can see here here there are different sites now we are going to see what is this location for example now let me take this i will take now once we select now i will go here i will select the 
CT and I will select the category. Now once I see here, now same point if I see, this is the with the accurate latitude and longitude values we are going to get the location of brooch. So this is the location of brooch and this one is the lothal during Harappan times important port site and this is the location of Sopara. So during Mauryan time period also Sopara is important for other purpose that is Ashoka major rock edict is also identified in this location. Now you can see here this is Mujeris and similarly this one Korkai. So this will go on, list will go on and here this is Tamralipti. So these are important port sites with accurate pinpoint. Now once we zoom out then at this location you will see in which state these are located because UPSC is sometime giving broad outline image or sometime it is accurately asking with state boundaries also. So for that purpose we can utilize this tool up to at this zoom angle. Now you can see here in Gujarat what are the ports? Maharashtra port, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and you can see in Tamil Nadu there are some important ports. Now if you zoom out, now you can see and you will go and you can look at this site and you will see what is the exact location. This is Mamallapuram and in this location this is Arikamedu and this one it is the Puhar, Pum Puhar or Kaveri Patnam. UPSC sometimes is asking this site as last port city. That means because of the sand, the ocean and the river merging, it is last as of now. But in the ancient times, it is very important port. Now this is another important port, Korkai. Now you can see with this tool, we are going to handle map very easily. And you can observe with accuracy we are going to. This task is going to be only once. Once you are done and your preparation for map is going to be all right. Now this is when it comes to marking and this way when it comes to the content. So both marking and content part we are going to handle very efficiently with this tool. So here we will see one more example. Let us go to early Harappan site. Now you can see. Now this is all single. Suppose here just you are going to create one list in Excel sheet around 400, 500 sites you will get and you are going to create the different categories. Once time, one time work, that's it. Once it is done, now we are going to see like this. Now you see once you select early Harappan sites and these are the various early Harappan sites. Now if you go to mature Harappan sites and these are the mature Harappan sites. And if you go to late Harappan sites, and these are some of the late Harappan sites, because I have filled only few entries to for the demonstration. Now this way we can go into, we can easily handle. Now this type of analysis will also help you in mains answer writing. For example, sometimes questions are coming from Harappan cities, like how early Harappan sites are Neolithic settlements emerged into mature Harappan phase. So now you can see in which locations there are early Harappan settlements. Now I am going to select mature Harappan sites. You can easily observe around these early mature early Harappan sites, mature Harappan sites also emerged. Now I am going to select, do you see? The moment I select mature Harappan sites, you will see some more settlements around these settlements. These are early Harappan sites. Now the moment I select, now you can see some more new settlements came and some of these early Harappan settlements have become mature also. Now if I select only this, now mature Harappan sites you can see some of them are early Harappan also and some of them are reached mature Harappan sites. So sometime a single site UPSC can ask you as a early Harappan site or as a mature Harappan site or as a late Harappan site. So sometimes same site may be evolving from early to mature, mature to late also. So you can easily categorize the such kind of things very easily. So this is how you are going to handle map very efficiently, accurately also. Now the moment I select this, now you can see this. This is Dolavira, late Harappan site. Now if I select 
all now i am going to see all the sites wherever it is available now i can see so now you see dholavera this is exactly what i am saying this tool will help you for very good analysis now dholavera i am taking now this is the same site early harappan site also mature harappan site also late harappan site also so in your main answer writing also you can quote these examples how early phase from neolithic to chalcolithic chalcolithic to early harappan early harappan to mature mature to late harappan how these settlements are evolving and civilization is evolving so this is one point so whoever joins so if you take the course of map map pointing i will explain you all these techniques in the classroom now this is one aspect i want to explain and there is one more aspect within this tool i can take the themes also now i can see not only the political map but also the physical map now i can see where if you see the harappan sites now this is the location where the indus plains are located now you can see the green color now this shows that these harappan sites are along the indus river now you can see it is not only about indus river there are some sites which flourished away from the indus zone also that is why even though the name is indus valley civilization but most of the historians prefer to consider it as a harappan civilization because harappa is the first settlement that was discovered and also not only the indus zone is giving the evidence away from indus also there are many harappan towns so that is why this kind of observation also you can make with this tool so the moment you join the class i'm going to explain all these techniques this is one time task in your mains preparation once this is done you can be feel safe secure and confident also with respect to map so this is one technique i am going to teach you and this content also i will give you with proper mind map thank you see you in the classroom thank you very much